next to the camera, not the drum. That's so right. Cover. The reason you spent three weeks practicing tuning these drums tuning these drums is to get an idea of how much tension these drum heads can really handle. Because our next goal is to put this drum head onto this drum. What's inside here, Noah? Pegs. Pegs, that's right. Just like on this drum. So we're going to make this look like this and hopefully sound close to that. Alright, I've begun restringing the tabla, putting in the camel hide straps, going over the rim, over the ring at the bottom, right here, and then pulling it through. And it's it is pretty hard work. It's hard on the hands. Sometimes you need pliers to get it through the holes. And I'm watching my video as I do it because it's tricky. He is fast, and I am not as fast as he is. Yeah, but it's coming along. There we go. So I've finished weaving in the camel hide straps, and I've learned how to tie my end knot, which is not terribly complicated, but now I know how to do it. Now it's a matter of increasing the tension as evenly as possible all the way around. And to do that, you have the, the hook on the back of the tabla hammer to get under the straps. I'm already on my fifth fifth time around. And it's just pulling in what little slack is left. Kaylin Godin, my online resource on YouTube, recommends first timers do this six or seven times to take it very slowly, keeping all the straps as evenly as straight as possible. And you can see we're moving in the right direction. I'm holding on that so I don't fall down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Noah's got that. No step. Ooh! Ooh! They're all pretty even. It's time to put in the pegs. This is insanely tight. Oh, God. Three out of eight in. Possibly the hardest part. Although I'm not quite finished yet, so. Yeah. But sounding better. C-sharp and D. That's all for now.